Hi friends, welcome to Learn and Explore. Today, I will discuss on a new topic that is RL calculation with the help of rise and fall method. Okay, as we all know, RL calculation will done with the various method that is collimation system, rise fall system. Rise fall system is a very well known method of RL calculation. Okay. For this method, I am creating a table here and this is our fill data which I have collected from the uh, from uh, auto level instrument and you can use dumpy level also. And now here in this table, I have station point, change, backside reading, intermediate side reading, foresight reading, rise, fall, RL and remarks. Before going to start my calculation i just want to tell you that rl of these are the staff readings uh, which is collected from the field okay and if we plot this reading it will it will express the um, ground level okay of the field if i like the if this is our if the suppose this is our ground okay here the first staff reading is 3.15 okay so suppose this this is 3.150 this is 2.240 something this much of suppose this much of 2.245 okay if the staff reading is more if this is suppose this reading is this is this much of 0 0.760 if the staff reading is more then the ground is low and if the staff reading is less then the ground will be in the higher suppose this is staff reading is the actual ground level is high okay that means if the staff reading is more that is there there is a depression and if the staff reading is less that is this is a high ground level right and now I'm going to start my calculation with the help of rice wall method okay in this method the RL is calculated with the help of rise and fall value rise mean if the value is obtained positive by subtracting the first reading to the second reading that value will write is in rise column and if the value will come negative the value will write is in fall column uh, in every leveling uh, method you have a known rl point that can that could be a benchmark or temporary benchmark permanent benchmark whatever it may be here I am taking my benchmark reading as 100 that is benchmark RL is 100 okay and you can use your own benchmark value at your calculation table okay now this is my first staff reading that is backside reading backside reading is nothing but the first staff reading taken by any setup of the instrument and intermediate side reading is the reading which is another than backside and foresight reading foresight reading is the last staff reading taken with the help of the instrument okay now i am just uh, and in this method the rl is calculated by subtracting the subtraction or addition with the value of presiding R stations rl okay i am calculating the first reading minus second reading right first reading is backside reading 1.50 minus 2.245 this reading minus this reading that is come is positive so i will write it on rise column again from this to this 2.245 minus 1.125 again the value will come sorry this is here the value is 1.12 okay now here you can see here 
back side, intermediate side and four side. Four side means end of the instrument, end of the instrument uh, setup. Okay. In this setup, here it is the first reading, intermediate and back, uh, four side reading. Okay. That means here you can write CP1. CP means change point. Change point is that point where the instrument setup is shifted. Right. In this CP, one back side and four side both are taken. Okay. So now here four side is closed and back side is again started. So I'm just in this setup, I again calculate and subtract four back side reading minus intermediate side reading 3.8. 860 minus 2.125 again positive reading so I am write it here again this value minus this value 2.125 minus 0 0.760 that is again positive 365 365 okay now from this minus this 0 0.760 minus 2.235 here come negative value okay so i will write it in fall column 750 here you can see again the four side is here and back side is here that means another shifting is done here so i can write it cp2 again my next setup is starting from this so i will subtract the value 740 minus 1.935 that is again minus 1.465 again from this to this 1.935 minus 3.225 1.29 again from this to this 3.225 minus 3.890 that is 0 0.665 as the value is come negative right so now i am going to calculate as i told before you just have to add or subtract the value from the rl of the presiding station so here my first rl is 100 and this value is positive i mean in rise column so i just add it that means 100 plus 0 0.905 that is 100 0.905 again this value is positive so i will again add with the rl of the presiding station that is 100.905 plus 1.12 that is 100.905 plus 1.12 that is 102.025 again this value is positive so i just simply add with it plus 1.735 so our value will be 103.76 again this value is positive so again i will add it 1.365 so 105.125 here here this value is in fall column that means it is negative so we just simply minus or subtract this value from the rl of the last station so 105.125 minus 1.475 that means minus 1.475 it is 103.65 650 again this is minus so i just minus 1.465 from the presiding rl uh, station rl 5 again six four four six five sorry this value will be four six five sorry six five that is hundred point five four so i'm just zero three point six five zero minus one point four six five that is hundred two point one eight five okay now this value is again minus so hundred 2.1885 minus 1.29 that is 100.895 again this value is minus um, negative so minus 0 0.665 so 100.23 
as I have told, as I have written here, my values, the last turtle, the, this is the procedure or formula you can say, the last turtle minus first turtle. So, 100.23 minus 100, that is 0 0.23. If all these three values, this 1, 2 and 3 will same, then our calculation will be correct and if there is any uh, this three value will not tally with each other then our calculation is wrong and we have to calculate again okay so now next next formula is backside summation of backside minus summation of foresight and this value will come same as this value okay so now i'm calculating the summation of backsides 3.150 plus 3.860 plus 0 0.470 so this value 7.480 again the summation of foresight 1.125 plus 2.235 plus 3.890 that is 7.250 summation of rise 0 0.905 plus 1.12 plus 1.735 plus 1.365 that is 5.125 and summation of all 1.475 plus 1.65 uh, for sorry 465 plus 1.1 1.29 plus 0.665 that is 4.895 Okay, that is 4.895. Now, our first formula is summation of backside minus summation of foresight. So, our foresight value is 2.50. So, 7.480 minus 7.25. So, this value is 0 0.23, which is similar to this value. And now, second is 1.25 minus 4.895. That is... 5.125 minus 4.895 that is 0 0.23 so these three values are same so our rl calculation for this setup or is correct hence okay okay so here you can see how i am calculating this rls from this staff readings with the help of rise and fall method you have just calculate the staff reading and by subtracting them you have to find the rise and fall values and you have to you have just adding or subtracting it from the RL of the known station or presiding station okay and if the inst if there is hmm, change point is there is change point is there you have just mentioned it on the remark station or any other remarks if you have on the field you just write it here so i hope you understand how i am calculating this rls and their, how i am checking the their correctness and their values and the speciality of this rise fall method is here also provide the checking on intermediate side okay because um, the collimation method is there and in that method only backside and foresight readings are checked but no intermediate site is provided there and their checking is not done and in this method complete check of backside foresight and intermediate site is done here and this is more accurate than collimation method okay now hope you understand how i am calculating this thank you for watching thank you